When we came on the air just now, you said that I had grunted when I was sitting down, which I always do, because I'm an old man. Yeah, you did. Oh! But, and you said it sounded like I was shitting my pants. Yeah. Now, is there a difference in the sound between just shitting? I guess there would be, because you have the acoustics of the toilet involved. The, the sound of shitting your pants versus the sound of just shitting, you know, normal shitting in a t- into a toilet. Yes. Can you describe the difference for me? <laughs> <laughs> yes and no. Well, but. I feel like the grunt, they probably start the same. Like the grunt yeah. is coming and then... It's this, a more smushy sound. Like a, Well, you're surprised. You don't mean to shit your pants. So like that grunt is creating the shit while the shit is creating the grunt in the other one. Oh, wow. That's uh, a... Yep. You're almost kind of blowing my mind. I don't even. I don't even know if I know what you mean. I mean, I know what you're trying to say. I think, but I don't know if I can picture how it works in my mind. It was like guttural grunt that just sounded like it was going to produce poop out of your butt. Well, no, uh, but it wasn't. Here I said, I have. I do have my poop problems. I've. I've shit my pants after I sneezed a few times in my life. What was the um, one when you came to work? What happened? What caused it? Was it a sneeze? Well, I don't remember what story you're talking about. You were, about. like, driving to work, and you had to turn around. It was told on this show probably 190 yeah. episodes ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you, are you saying know. you've shit your pants so many times you don't remember that story? Oh, yeah. I, I have enough shit my pants stories that I've... I mean, I don't... Some of them are pretty memorable. I feel like I've told... I mean, I've told, like, four on here, right? I think I've told, I, I think I've told true, four yeah. different... And your sister no. told one. That's a lot of pants stories. For one family? This is like... Uh, last week, uh, I had a little issue with my floorboards, and I just, I don't know. I, like, diagnosed it myself, and I kind of think I'm going to figure it out. I haven't fixed it yet, but... Didn't the guy took... tell you what it was? He told me no, and I think he was wrong. He oh, kind of like... Yeah, yeah. Don't go to Jimmy's uh, air air conditioner repair, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, but no, I just, I kind of discovered it myself, and I don't think it's going to be too, you know, you know, it'll take, like, work, but I know what I'm doing, and I was... How many hours will you have to be in the roof to fix it? No, 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 it's underneath the floor, it's not the <laughs> roof. I'm terrified of the roof. <laughs> <laughs> I leave that to the professional. Nice. You know, this is a tremendous turnaround from last week. I know, I, I'm feeling last good. Last week, you were, like, ready to kill yourself. I thought you might yeah. be dead this week. I go, I go quick. I'm a, <laughs> I have my, I got my lows and my highs. I, check, I think I hide it from the outside world, but I definitely have some highs and lows. And like I just feel you good left right now. the show yes last week saying you're gonna have to rip apart your house. Mm, I mean, it wasn't quite that dramatic, but that I'm actually editing right now, and I did, we did end on me being like, well, gotta go. I'm going home to rip my floors out. And, See, all right. Yeah. So I just, I just totally, I started here, ended here, and that's where you were in the beginning, huh? So I had a couple. I, I poured a big, huge vodka drink before we got on the air. I didn't think I had enough energy to to bring it tonight. <laughs> so I, I went with booze. I, to, bring I started it, to bring it when, Mark? I didn't really. Oh, uh, to bring it on Friday night in the mag room. Friday night again, everybody. All around the world you can hear them. Hey, hey, hey. Talking about using kind of funny stuff. Hey, hey, hey. Mag Do you know what the Streisand effect is, Jared? Uh, it's got to be something about Barbara Streisand. It is. Maybe if she, in a movie, uh, or mentions you somehow. The, a you, person? Yeah, then you you die within five years. It's kind of an interesting. It's, yeah, that's actually pretty. Not, not it's not close to the answer, <laughs> but it's kind of a cool guess. <laughs> well, we have that. That's sort of like the Magrum effect. Now that you're mentioning Barbara Streisand, she's probably going to die at some point soon. Is she dead? I feel like she might be dead already. Really? No? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's probably even really better. Far, if I'm not big not, on pop culture. Is not. I feel my like thing. she was best in the news. For being dead? No, it wasn't dead. Today's wasn't the 10th anniversary of Barbara Streisand's death. 
There may be something... Oh, somebody wanted to sleep with her or something? Uh... Mandy Patinkin. Patinkin. <laughs> when they were in some movie where they... Yentl. Oh, okay. I don't Do you know, know who Mandy Patinkin is? Uh, the As You Wish. As You As Wish. As You Wish. No, no, wait. That's the guy. That's, oh, sorry. Uh... My name is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> yes, that guy, that guy, that he guy. He killed my yes. brother. She's What's married, the other guy's she's name? married to James Brolin? That's the dude that was in 310 to Yuma? Or I mean, yeah. um, no, that's Josh Brolin. Oh, who's James Brolin then? His, his dad. His dad? Oh, I thought, yeah. I, I thought it was Josh Brolin at first. All right, so what is the Streisand effect? Oh, right, yeah, that was the whole point. <laughs> um, it, we've actually talked about something like this in, the, in an economics term, but the Streisand effect is an unde- unintended consequence of attempts to hide, remove, or censor information, where the effort instead backfires by increasing awareness of that information. Mm. It is named after American singer and actress Barbara Streisand, who passed away in 2013, <laughs> whose attempt to suppress the California She's coastal... She's 81 re- years old now. <laughs> Um, her her attempts to suppress the California Coastal Record Records Project's photograph of her cliff top residence in Malibu, California, taken to document California coastal erosion, inadvertently drew greater attention to the photograph in 2003. That is a tremendously lame reason for that to be the name of it. I thought it was going to be somebody, like, covering up, like, nude photo. You know, like, somewhere you're like, hey, don't look at that. And then everybody has to look at it. But it's like, don't look at my clifftop erosion because my house is on it. It's like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. It almost seems to me that there should have been a word for that before 19... Or I'm sorry, 2003. Like that, that idea of, like, sure. if you're trying too hard to do one thing, you're obviously hiding another... Um, I would. It just seems like there should have been a word or a phrase for that before 2003. Like me. sometimes I go to the bathroom, like at school, go to the bathroom, I pee, then I wash my hands, and like water splatters on my pants. <laughs> so it looks like I've peed my pants. I haven't, but it looks like that. You see, and now I, I feel like you're just saying that right now to get out. Like, no, oh, I'm not, maybe, I'm not lying about maybe this. Like it's one out of, maybe it's one like, out of ten. Maybe one out of ten. One out of ten, it's pee. <laughs> But most of the time, it's not. Okay. And then I put my hand, like, I'm like, how, what do I do with it? Like, I have to walk out into the hall. What do so I do? So you put more this? water on I don't know. But no, I just, like, hold my hands down there. But I feel like it makes it so probably people look more. <laughs> right, yeah. It. So it really should have been called. And I was doing that before 2003. <laughs> yeah, it should yeah. have been called the Sisk Effect. All right, should we do some Sisk stories? Sisk stories. Um, first one was about, do you know any twins, Mark? Do I know any twins? Or did uh, you? Any interesting up, twin stories? I grew up with Steve and Scott Cassessi, and uh, they were like, or you know, I went, through, I went my, first I to know, eighth grade. I had not seen them since, since that eighth grade with them, and then I went to a different high school. Like, so I was always but up through eighth like, grade... They were they like were tall. Me and Matt were played high, those like, two brothers. And we'd be and I had like and work boots on, and, and my friend Matt, Matt um, has no. I was probably playing. I think I was probably playing in jeans exactly. and all that. And me and Matt beat these two guys, Both me and, and it just it was kind of showed me how much kids change in because uh, they stay. You know, they they kind of like. So that's my experience with twins. Those guys were cool. I liked. I liked. Those, those are twins. the only twins you've known. Well, I also know. Are you going to the hopper again? Hold on. I printed something out about <laughs> twins. Hold on one second. <laughs> well, I know the Minnesota twins are set to cut payroll amid almost <laughs> certain departure from bankrupt Bally Sports RSN. Okay. That's a, that's interesting. I know. Um, you thought I was going to talk about the Minnesota twins? This well, is I kind of fun now that I give you the topic and you try to guess. What I also is. know... Um, I mean, besides Steve and Scott Cassessi, I also know Michelle Fink and Camille Vandermolen. <laughs> <laughs> they're um, they're crime fighting 
identical twin detectives who are solving cases in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. <laughs> I know that. I know them. You know of too. them or you actually know them? No, I know them. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Kate. Camille. Yeah. No, well, how do you... Have you ever noticed, like, for those two guys, when they played together, did they, like know each other's moves like could they sense things about each other you ever think there was any of that stuff with twins like special yeah definitely I think that you'd have to be kind of in tune with that if you were I just feel like if you were a twin it would be weird to know that there was somebody if I had a twin brother there, I, I hang out with the guy that I always get mistaken for and it, <laughs> it throws me off to be around him you know what I mean mm. Because I know that everybody thinks we're the same person, and nice. it, it's weird. So yes, yeah. I, it, w- it would be that would be a, something that hap- that's you know somehow your psyche would be affected by that. I, f- I think for sure they always seem to like each other, which is great, right? You have somebody who's like pumping you up a little bit. Your twin, I would think so. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a brother, but I would. It would. I guess I think it would be. I don't know, because I'm kind of the opposite in like. My life, I sort of like to be left alone. I don't know if I'd like having a, you know. But then, but if you were a twin, maybe you would just be more prone to have that person that you would kind of want to. Have, that would it would grow on you, or or maybe you're connected to the guy physically. Sure. You know what I mean? What like if the end of this? If twin? the end of this story was really that I had discovered that you had a twin and they were going to be on the show? Tell me, why don't I know that I have a twin? What happened? <laughs> what was this? <laughs> like, I, I don't know how I feel about this. How, uh, did, what, how, how, hospital, how are we your, separated? Your parents could only keep one. She got knocked out during the procedure. Okay, and... so she didn't know. So this is all done without my knowledge, but I have a twin brother. Yep. No, I don't want to meet him. I don't think I want to meet him. <laughs> I really don't. Well, if he's exactly, too late if for he's that, in, Mark. If he's exactly like me, it'll depress me. And if he's totally different than me, it'll depress me. So on this on this Twitter post, there was a, there were the twins called the Jim Twins. They were sep- they were separated at birth, reunited at thirty nine. They were both married and divorced. They both married and divorced women named Linda. Were wow. presently married to women named Betty. <laughs> had sons named James and Alan. Come on. Owned dogs named Toy. You've got to be f- drove kidding me. identical cars, worked in security, and frequented the same Florida beach for vacations. They they were separated at birth. Yep. Then they lived the exact same life. And both their names were James. <laughs> They grew up 40 miles from each other. They didn't even know. Yeah, would be, wouldn't that be really weird? I think so. I mean, I, I think like that here's, would be weird. Here would, here would probably be the story. You find out, like, I'm not saying don't this is... Some shitty, don't put some I'm stupid not saying 80s this is movie true. twist on this. No, you're really, you're really adopted. Like, your parents didn't tell you. You're really adopted. And you were separated from your twin at birth. And then you find out this year... That you were adopted, and you're like, "Hey, did I have any siblings?" And then you search, and there's Mark Einloth, who grew up in Milford, Cheshire, Milford, Cheshire, Connecticut. Connecticut. That's got to be a little far away. Oh, 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 oh! He didn't. He's not from the exact same town. <laughs> no. Me, a... Yeah. He, Mark, um, he grew up in. Yeah, he was in your class. You didn't notice the guy who looked just like you. <laughs> <laughs> we just... sat next. We sat next to each other in homeroom. Yes. Bro- we had the same last name. Yeah. It's like. Oh, f- I never even put that together. <laughs> <laughs> just an idiot. So yeah, I just thought that was crazy that they. That really is. That's too much. That I don't believe all that. I really don't believe they had the dogs with the same name. F- that they're they're saying that just to emphasize. I believe that some of those are true, but I think they're embellishing. Both, and that's crazy. both gyms frequented the same beach in Florida for vacation, only three that's blocks f- ridiculous. away from that's each f- other. Ridiculous. They didn't. Blocks what you, oh, they both had a penchant for leaving love notes to their wives and enjoyed woodworking in their basements. Do you think your name has to do with it as well? I don't know. I tend to like other guys who, and not, I don't, I don't, I like Marks who spell their name with a K. I always get along with Marks who spell their name with a K. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And Marks with a C, no good? I mean, sometimes good, but sometimes bad. How about a but Q? Mar- M-A-R-Q. Marks, are, Marks with a K are 100%. Marks with a K, either I love Marks with a K. Such cool guys. <laughs> Great group, dude. 
How do you feel? How do you feel about a mark with like a hyphen, like Mark Paul Gosler? I don't get what you're doing there. Um, why? Well, I, I am now wondering why his name is Mark Paul. Is he French? That seems like a French thing to do. I don't know. Does I can't find anything about it. He also has a middle name. <laughs> no, he's Mark hyphen Paul, then a middle name. Then Harry. Gas- Mark Paul <laughs> Harry. I, I mean, I have, I kind of have to like him because he's a Mark, but that's a, that's a weird one. Yeah. What happens if you found out Mark Paul Gosler was your twin? I kind of, I, I don't know. I guess I would be excited. And I'm like, do you guys remember Saved by the Bell? I'm his <laughs> brother. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever think that I looked like it? I didn't. I never. I still don't see it at all. But I guess I don't know how they even found it out. But. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you look nothing like him. Our lives have been pretty similar now that I think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, you both dated Kelly Kapowski. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Sisk story number two. Sisk My best stories. friend's name is Screech. My best friend's name is Screech, too. <laughs> Cheese kind of sounds like Screech. Hey, guys. <laughs> Zoinks! <laughs> That's Shaggy. <laughs> oh, sorry. What did Screech used to say? Didn't he have a catchphrase? Second Sisk story. Have you ever... Um, this one's about being a dick. Have you ever, um, like, just done something, like, maliciously? Like... Somebody like wrongs you in some way and you feel wronged and then you're just like a dick. When it snowed in Baltimore City, this was like 2004 or five or something like that. I owned a little house in Baltimore City and my it was very hard to park in front of my house in general. And then when it snowed, it made it obviously more difficult. Okay. So there was a a neighborly agreement where we would each put our little spot that we had secured whatever the night before, wherever we were, wherever we could kind of get something. If it was on our block, put a trash can there and you've claimed your spot. Because you you shoveled it out. Because you shoveled it out. Okay. So I did that. And one day I came home and someone had taken my shoveled out spot. Oh, boy. So I went inside. I ate, you know, something. I ate salsa or whatever it was. And then I went out and gagged myself and made myself throw up on the all over the door handle. Ah. And, then I, and then I wrote a little note that said, and I, you know, I was trying to be like super passive aggressive. I was like, you know, next time you decide to take somebody's spot, just know that you're overlooking somebody's hard work and whatnot for your simple convenience and just uh, you know please think of that next time you steal my spot or anybody anybody else's spot who shoveled a spot out and claimed it as their own because we all live on this block and we deserve that love you know? Mark Paul Gosler love Mark Paul Gosler <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's yeah I, mean, I can be vindictive sometimes not it, it takes a decent amount to get me to that point but I can go a little nuclear sometimes but anyway, um, yeah, where, did, we, sure where they, did that whole story start? So being uh, malicious. So in, this is from ABC News, in Colorado, um, a welding company had a, a lawsuit against them with a subcontractor. And it, it was decided that they owed them $23,000 and $23,500. Well, wait. I'm sorry, I was kind of spacing out. What about a welding company and who was the other person involved? A subcontractor. Not really important. That part of the story. Were they were they registered as an LLC <laughs> or an S Corp? <laughs> uh, they were in between. They were going between. Do they W9 them or do they 1040? LLC. Them? I don't know. It was okay. W9 relationship. Okay. Okay. So, so not an indi- it's an individual. It's a corporation, not an individual, is yes. what I'm. Essentially, yeah. JMF yeah, 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 yeah. Enterprises. How many employees? <clears throat> um, Thirty to fifty employees. Are they on the um, Are they on the BBB uh, registration site? <laughs> they will be now. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Go on. I'm sorry. I'm I'm getting into the details. The, they paid it off. They sent t- three tons of loose coins. 
<laughs> to the subcontractor. Uh, you, wouldn't you love to hear the argument that the, the the phone calls that led to that being what happens? Yeah. I wonder if it's text messages nowadays. I wonder if it's angry text messages that lead to somebody. All right, I'll fucking pay you back. Come on, I'm all right. I'm loading up. Dump, I'm loading up dump trucks with. I'm not fucking lying right now. I am loading up dump trucks with dimes and pennies. You really want to do this? Yeah. That's how you get your money. So, so the judge ruled that they had to pay by check, and had to pay an extra nine thousand dollars for the like cost <laughs> of doing it. So. I was actually thinking of also you hiding the money under your mattress, and if it had been all in, like, dimes instead, that would have just been incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean the hotel when I left yeah. all my money under the mattress yeah. at the hotel? I call, yeah, when I call him up the next day, I'm like, yeah, uh, actually, your floor uh, broke. Uh, the, <laughs> the floor under your mattress. Why were you hiding $1,800 in <laughs> pennies underneath the mattress? <laughs> What's going on in your life that that was a concern? I have some subcontractors that I got to pay off, okay? And <laughs> are, they, are you friends with welders? I I used to be, but not anymore. What was I saying? Oh, last weekend we went to um, Storm King Art Institute. So it's this 500-acre outdoor sculpture park i sent you one picture so it's all these like humongous outdoor sculptures um and they're really cool i mean it's a lot of walking my kids got a little whiny after a while but um (laughs) okay it was it was fun i thought it was fun our weekend kind of got upended we were supposed to visit someone and then they got sick and then so we were just home so we did that lots of cool stuff like that so we went out but we went out to dinner Kids were disappointed Friday, so we went out to dinner. This place in Great Barrington we like, and it's quick and not that expensive. Wait, wait. why were the kids disappointed? That we didn't get to go visit the friends. We were going to visit friends, oh, okay. but they got okay. sick. Okay, sorry. So we're sitting, we're eating, we brought some games to play. It was fun. And then all of a sudden, it was like overpowering, this smell of cologne. And I look back, and it's this kid who probably looks like he's like 18 with a girl, on the date yeah. right behind us and he smelled like he dumped a bottle a, we had to move like we didn't make a scene about it but I was just like I went up to the waitress I was like we need to move the table over because I'm very sensitive to this whatever's going <laughs> You're on You're such a butthole <laughs> yeah I couldn't handle it but it was like I was tasting the cologne I wanted to enjoy my dinner yeah but again I don't I'm, those smells like are too much for me no, I like uh, yeah. Too much. I like cologne. Do you like I I, Do you like ladies that wear heavy perfume? I like perfume. I love a girly smell. Mm. I love a girl who smells like a girl. Yeah, yeah. That's a turn on for me. You want to talk about that for a little while? <laughs> I don't want to talk yeah, clo- about. Your... Remember how we were talking about getting close to the microphone? Yes, I don't. Wanna, to, I don't want to talk about your. I mean, we, a little close. We did spend half this episode of you like. <sighs> in your pants or puking on a doorknob so it'd be let's quite a let's not talk about that let's not talk about that right now let's get a little romantic let's be, not talk about be a good me and my sister having issues with shitting our pants more than any two adults the should the iron law fit like if you ever Lori. met if you ever met your twin that's what you'd have to ask him first do you do you shit your pants a lot so do i as me and steven scott kiss as he were but they are good old steven scott <laughs> Stephen hyphen Scott, Mark Paul, Harry Cassessi. <laughs> like, wait, are you guys twins or are you eight different people? I don't get it. Did you have to take your mother's married name? No, they just gave me a really long hyphenated first name. And the last one is spelled A H Y P H E N hyphen. I don't get it. Hyphen, hyphen. Stephen Scott, hyphen, Kevin, Harry Cassessi. Hyphen, hyphen. Oh, the Hyphensons? <laughs> oh, yeah. I grew up with both Hyphenson twins. Yeah. Hi- hyphen cool Hyphenson? <laughs> oh, Hyman Hyphenson. Sure. Sure. Yeah. They, were, they were separated at birth. They both loved the smell of cologne. They both shit their pants. Me and, and Hyman Hyphenson both Mark went to the Paul same. Mark Paul Gossler fans. <laughs> Like, you guys couldn't have highlighted some of the cooler things we had in common, like our dogs being the same name and our wives being the same name. We have the exact same amount of money in our bank account right now. Nope. Our social security numbers are one number off. 
can you please rewrite this story? I don't want it to be about me <laughs> shitting my pants. I don't get why you have to focus on that. They met each other after they were 39 and realized just last week they had shit their pants in a work meeting. They were at an adults who shit their pants conference in Orlando, Florida together. It would have been great if they did that story, but all this stuff was like not... They both drove cars and they had jobs. <laughs> and they lived on a street that was paved. Both had... They had 20 fingers between them. <laughs> one wore glasses, but one thought he might need to wear glasses. <laughs> He sensed that someone else's vision had decreased recently. They both had to make left-hand turns to get to this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up. Okay. Produced by Mark Paul Gossler. My brother. Theme song by Maggie Yellox. Email <laughs> Muga and Cisco at gmail.com. Put down your Just phone. Don't, Don't kill, kill your, your wife. wife. <laughs> if you get <laughs> your pants, just admit it. It's fine. To us. It happens. We want the exclusive. But it happens. Look, if you if you have any good pants, <laughs> specifically pants <laughs> stories, please write in. Maybe come on the show. Come on the show and say hi and like, well, I can disguise your voice. It would be great if people emailed in their <laughs> pants stories. It really would. Yeah. We need our niche and maybe that's it. And we'll all together... Those who have <laughs> their pants will stick with the mag with room. Oh, stick with the mag room. Yes. <laughs> shit with the mag shit on the mag room. And everything else. And everything else. Is cream is cheese. Cream cheese. And now with the cream cheese visual, that's quite quite the quite the visual. Have you guys ever eaten brown cream cheese before? Ah, that's it. We're done. Ooh, ooh, I like mag room. I like mag room. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. The my groom's good. Ooh, ooh, I like my groom. I like my groom. Ooh, ooh, my groom is good. My groom is good. Yes.